Hey guys, it's Liz, and I'm here to share with you my project I just finished. This is for the Sexy Man Valentine's uh, Challenge that's being hosted by Sabrina, Crafty Chica 87, and uh, Gisela, which is uh, Lavish Laces here on YouTube. And uh, as soon as I saw both of their videos, I knew I was definitely going to participate. It sounded like a lot of fun. Uh, the hard part was picking out uh, my sexy man, right? So, let me see. Originally, I was going to go with Vin Diesel. I have a thing for Vin Diesel. I just, I love a man with muscles. And uh, I found this awesome picture. Let me show you real quick. Oh, look how cute he looks. Oh, amazing. But then I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do Vin Diesel, because I have the next best thing. Well, actually, the first best thing. And that's my hubby. Guys, look. He looks like Vin Diesel. <laughs> see? Look at that. He gets that all the time, too. And I wish I had a picture without glasses so you guys could see how much he looks like him. But he's always wearing glasses or a hat or something like that. But anyways, guys, my sexy man is my hubby. And I picked uh, this amazing picture of, um, of him on our wedding day. And I decided to make this beautiful easel card. And um, you guys, I mean, he's absolutely my sexy man right there. I can't pick another man. He's just wonderful. I love him to death. And um, let me let me show you what I did here. I decided to make an easel card. And what I did, um, the cardstock is obviously black. I wanted to definitely um, use the black because I like the the way that it pops. It makes everything pop. So for the papers. I used the beautiful Graphic 45 Le Romantique collection. It's perfect for my card. Absolutely perfect. I love it. And uh, it's one of my favorite collections. I knew I had to use it. And it's just beautiful for the challenge as well. So I used the Graphic 45 Le Romantique collection. And I just layered different... Uh, let me see. I'll show you the front first. I layered different um, you know, pieces of the pattern paper one over the other uh, using foam tape to give a dimension and I lightly distressed all the edges and I inked them with some black soot just very lightly and let's see here this is also you know two pieces of paper from the collection as well and I just glued one over the other to frame it and again all the edges are distressed with black soot and then lightly distressed with my um, Tim Holtz distress tool and here we have this beautiful metal corner piece. This is by, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the company who makes it. But, uh, you know, you can pick them up at Michael's, and they're beautiful. I love these corner pieces. And I decided to use the one in the antique gold because it, it just goes really well with the colors of the paper. So it's beautiful. And let's see, that's my hubby, guys. He's so handsome. I love this man. <laughs> so he's my sexy man. And uh, I just used... This uh, picture, this is of, um, actually this is him reciting his vows on our wedding day. And I thought that is just a perfect picture because what is sexier than a man just, you know, professing his love to you, telling you he's going to love you for all time, giving you his heart and soul. I mean, I don't know. I can't think of anything. <laughs> That's just pretty darn sexy. But anyway, so that's my man right there, and uh, the picture was in color, and I did change it to black and white, and I shrank it down a little bit, and then I just um, used some black cardstock and um, just used that, um, you know, to mount the picture. And here we have this beautiful trim. I picked this up at Joann's, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I knew I had to use it, so I just used a little piece in the back here. I love it. So beautiful. And let me see. For the challenge, we had to, you know, incorporate a heart somewhere in our card. And we had to use stickles. And then we also had to have three words to describe why we think our man is sexy. So here's my hearts right here. And these guys, I just used my spell binders to cut them out using the pattern papers. And again, the edges are lightly distressed, as you can see. And this big one, I just used um, lots of uh, foam tape to make him pop, and then I put this one over him. And this little sentiment here is the key to my heart, and this was fussy cut from one of the papers. And I just cut, you know, the ends a little bit to make it, you know, look like a banner, and uh, distressed it. 
so I just love it. Key to my heart. And then here's my key right here, and it's heart-shaped. It's so cute. I love this key. This is one of the new keys um, that Michaels is carrying in their $2 bin. It comes in like a, a pack. I think you get like five or six little keys, and I just thought this one was perfect. And it's the exact same color of this corner piece, so perfect match. I love it. So I just added that little key here. And down here, I added just another little piece of this gorgeous trim. And let me show you what that trim looks like, because I know a lot of it got covered up, but it is so pretty. And like I said, I picked this up at Joann's. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at that. It's beautiful. So I just, I used, you know, part of the trim. Most of this got covered up, so, you know, you could just see the ends. And then I had a little itty-bitty piece left, and that's what I stuck down here. So really like the way that came out. I love that trim. It's so pretty. And oh, I had a oh, I had a little accident with glue. I'm I'm sure you guys can see it. I hope it's not too noticeable. But when I was gluing down my flowers, I got glue on the picture. Oh, I was so bummed. And then I tried to get it out, and I made it worse. But hopefully, see if you go like this, you can't see it. <laughs> so I just I love the way this card came out. I think it's so beautiful. Anyway, so let's move on. Let's see. Let's move on to the flower cluster. Here is where I used all my stickles because, you know, that was part of the challenge. And I just did a bunch of flowers here. These are all I Am Roses flowers except for these two black ones. These are just for my stash. And let's see. This is a big I Am Roses flower that was white. And I inked this using my Lindy Stamp Gang. I used two different colors because I wanted to um, kind of try to match this color back here. It's like a peachy pink. So I used the, um, let me see, this is the Cosmopolitan Pink. And I used Fuzzy Naval Peach. So I used these two colors together. Well, all I did is I spritzed them onto my, um, you know, the craft mat. Just like two little sprays. And then I added a couple of drops of water because I didn't want the color to be so bright. I just wanted, you know, just like a wash of color. And I, I just love the way the flower came out. It's so beautiful. And look how it shimmers from all the stickles. It's so pretty. So that's what I did to get this, you know, try to get this color. I think it's beautiful. And these here, little ones, were also white. And for that, I used the Lindy Stamping in um, Clam Bake Beige. Perfect. And it was the perfect color for that. I love them. And again, those are all stickled up as well. And uh, like I said, these two black ones, they were already black. They're from my stash. So all I did is just add stickles to the tops of them. And then these two, I, these are ivory rosebuds, also from I Am Roses. And I left them ivory, and I just added stickles. There we go. Very pretty. And back here, you see all these little leaves. These, I used some cardstock and one of my spellbinders dies. And then I lightly inked all the little edges in green, just to make it more realistic. And then I kind of pinched the edges up a little bit, just to give them dimension. I really like the way those came out as well. And then here, these tiny little flowers, these are also I'm Roses, and they're like a mint green. So I just left them green, and then I used a bunch of stickles. So very pretty. I love my flower cluster. I think it's so pretty. And let's see. Like I said, this is an easel card. So you know, it opens up like this. Oh, and then here's the next page. That's what that looks like. And here, um, again, I just layered a bunch of the uh, papers from the collection, La Romantique. The edges are distressed with black soot and lightly distressed with my distress tool. Distress tool. <laughs> and then here we have these little stamp images. These were fussy cut from one of the papers. And then I just, you know, I cut the little corners here to make them look like stamps. And then I distressed them a little bit. And I put one there and then one down here. And this beautiful heart that you see, it's like a heart frame. This is also from Spellbinders, but it's, uh, let me show you the die. It's from Heartfelt Creations. This is the die here. It's beautiful. Look at that. So this is the frame that I used. And I used the middle that was this big heart here. But it's beautiful. Uh, let me see what it's called. Timeless Amour. Sorry about the glare. But it's just a beautiful, um, beautiful die cut. I love these. So that's what I used to get that heart frame. Love that. Came out so pretty. And, you know, I just used the pattern paper to do that. And here I decided to make a little envelope out of one of the pattern papers. I just had a little template of an envelope and I just uh, traced it and then scored it and um, glued the envelope on here. And then here is that, some more of that trim that I used up here. And um, all I did was I cut out, see, 
This is what I used. So I just used a little piece of that. Just as an accent on my little envelope. And, okay, and then I made these cute little tags. And that is where I'm going to have, that's where I have the words to describe why I believe this man is sexy. And so let's see, let's pull out the little tags here so I can show you. I just made these little tags. And they're just, you know, lined with the, um, the paper from the Romantique collection. It's beautiful. Lightly distressed. And then black foot on the edges. And then I added like a little, a little ribbon, a little black ribbon to the top. And my first word to describe the sexy man is passionate. Because he truly is. And he is passionate about everything that he does. I mean, his job, his hobbies, his family, just everything. When he believes in something, he believes in it wholeheartedly. So that's what I mean by passionate. He's just... He's just a very, um, you know, passionate man, and that's how he feels about, you know, something when he feels strongly about it. So that's definitely one of the reasons why I find him sexy. And let's see, the other one here, it's because he's honest. And you guys, sometimes way too honest. Do not ask this man how you look in them jeans, because he will let you know. <laughs> He'll let you know the truth. <laughs> Trust me, there's many times when I've, you know, tried on an outfit and he'll be like, oh, I hate that shirt. He'll just tell you. <laughs> um, sometimes I listen and I'll take off the shirt and put something else on, but most of the time I don't. I just go with it because that's how I am. I'm stubborn. But I do love his honesty. I love the fact that he is a very honest man. Um, you know you'll get a straight answer from him, and that's what I love, and that's why I think it's very sexy. So, honest is my second one and let's see the third reason oops let me get this little tag out here whoopsie it's because he's handsome of course he's beautiful I think he's gorgeous I love my man and I don't tell him enough just how handsome he is but he really is and I can't let it get to his head because you know he gets enough people commenting on how much he looks like Vin Diesel he really does in person especially Oh my gosh, especially when we live in California. Every five minutes, everybody's like, oh my god, Vin Diesel, let me have your autograph. It's so funny. But he's just handsome, and he's my man. So there we go. So we got handsome, passionate, and honest. Those are the three reasons why I believe my man is sexy. And um, oh my gosh, I had so much fun making this card, and I really am happy with the way that it came out. He hasn't seen it. He's out of town right now. And unfortunately, he's going to be gone for about a month, and I miss him so much. It's only been a week, but I miss him terribly. And um, I'm, we Skype all the time, so I'm going to show him. I'm going to tell him to check out my video so he can see what I made for him. I think it's so beautiful, and I love the way it came out. And I've checked out a couple of the other ladies who have made beautiful cards. And you guys, I haven't seen everyone's video, but the ones that I've seen are absolutely gorgeous. You guys have made some beautiful cards. And yes, all those men are sexy. But, uh kind of biased to my man here but <laughs> anyways guys i had so much fun and uh sabrina and Gisela, thank you so much for hosting this wonderful challenge it was a lot of fun and uh good luck to everyone that's participating um i had a blast so hope you guys like my card leave me a comment or a question if you have one and i'll get back to you and thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you guys later Bye bye